Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to give you another Cinema 4D tutorial. So we're going to turn this into this with just a couple of lighting techniques. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in Cinema 4D. So as you can see, I have my scene already set up here. So there's the city and the camera and there's absolutely no light here. So in this tutorial, I will just focus on the lighting setup uh, and will not talk a lot about the material, even though I'm using very standard and basic material here. But we're going to save it for the other video. Uh, for now, let's just focus on how to make this look cool with just the lighting setup. So let me just take the first step and render this out so we can see how it looked like originally. Uh, so as you can see here, it's super ugly, so let's make it pretty. Um, so let's close this and go back here. And the very first step that you need to do is very easy. Just go to render setting. And as you can see here, I have my uh, renderer. It's a standard renderer, uh, very basic. It comes with the, the software, so everyone can have it. Uh, so what you need to do is you go to effect and add a ambient occlusion. Um, so what it does is, let me just render it down and you can see how it affect the scene. So what it does is to give you a very sharp shadow everywhere. It's like an ambient shadow. So if you compare to a previous render, it looks so much um, richer with the shadow everywhere. Here there's absolutely no shadow. Here there's shadow. So that's the first step to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, so. And the next thing we need to do is to go here and click and hold and then select physical sky. So let's just render it out to see how this physical sky can um, affect your scene. So as you can see what it does is to create a sky and, and a sunlight. So you can have a basic um, outdoor uh, lighting here with this uh, hard edge shadows and very sharp direct lights from the sun um, So let's go back So let's click on this time and location so and from here you can click on this and drag and then you can set, select the um, Any time of the day that you want the, the sky to be so maybe let's go with somewhere around like uh, 4 or 5 uh, p.m. and you can also go to the city here and there's a bunch of um, presets and to make it look a little bit uh, more like any of these cities. So let's go to Japan and maybe just select uh, Tokyo. And it will give you something like this. So let me just render this and see how it changes the scene. Okay, so uh, this is the noon. It's more like a noon um, light. Uh, but this is more like an evening lighting when it's almost get to the, um, the sunset. So, alright. Uh, so you can also go to uh, uh, coordination and rotate the whole sky to select whatever direction you want the light to be. Uh, so I want to go to uh, this direction and let's try it. Alright, so we're gonna go with this um, light direction. Alright, so next step, uh, let's click on light and select a simple light so this I'm going to use this as an ambient ambient uh, no, ambient light oops misspell all right so for this one let's go to general and turn on this ambient illumination so what it does is to lighten up the scene completely, so evenly everywhere, and there's no light source. Um, so we're gonna give this a um, this kind of colors, maybe a um, warm color like this. Uh, yes, maybe like this, and maybe let's just go with eighty percent intensity, and let's see how it look like. Alright, so you can see that it looks a little bit better now as as the, the ambient light just gives some kind of a um, lighting up all of these, you know, it's lighting up all of these dark area here and fill it up with this um, warm color tint. 
so everything look a little bit more realistic now a little bit more interesting now uh, so let's get back to this and let's create another light so this time i'm going to select an area light uh, so for this one um if i bring it down here and i can turn off the camera and move it over here so this is going to be a uh, direct sun light all right so i'm going to uh, maybe adjust this a little bit uh, move it up a little bit like this so make sure this light is kind of pointing to the same direction at the physical light the sunlight of the physical sky here um, so let's go back to this and let's give it a uh, also a warm colors uh, like this and go to details and scroll down here and in the fold off section let's turn on this inverse square all right so now it's, it, it's show you this kind of fall off. So the light, you can control the fall off of the light by just dragging the circle. So maybe let's make it big like this. All right, cool. And also you can um, turn on this Z direction only so that the light emit um, in one direction. So it's a little bit easier to, to, to see where the light is, is pointing to or two. Um, and also the, one other thing is very important to turn on the shadow of this one so let's go with area shadows and all right so now go back to the camera let's turn the camera on go back to the view and render to see how it looks like nice so as you can see that as you compare with the previous scene so this direction light is kind of give some extra sunlight from the same direction of the sky so what it does is to give uh, very nice highlights on the building and also on this um, hero uh, free block here as you can see here it looks okay but here it looks so much better because the highlight is stronger and you can see the shadow is also stronger and it and if you look at this so this only have the hard edge shadows and pretty light but this direction light can give you some more deeper richer shadow of these kind of areas so it feels more realis realistic so there's one more thing that we can do so it's a little bit dark on this um, on this area so I wanted to have some kind of an ambient light to to lighten up this side of the scene so uh, super easy so let me just go back out and select this uh, direct sunlight and just duplicate it uh, just copy and paste here and let's call it uh, a blue ambient light all right and let's move it over here and go to coordination and rotate it this direction uh, any of this direction will work all right and for this one i'm going to go with this different colors a different color like this and reduce the intensity to 15 uh, maybe some, something like this and we don't need the shadow here because it could really overdo everything so let's turn up the shadows and go back to the camera and render to see how it's affecting the scene so basically the whole process is to uh, play around with the setting and see what works better to try with a bunch of different setting different combination and at some point you will get to the result that you feel happy with so here we are with the next render if you compare to the previous one so this one it feel uh, pretty dark here but this one they have this lighting up but i think it's a little bit too much um, so let me just um go back here and adjust the setting uh, maybe the light is a little bit too blue um like this it okay, just adjust this like this all right so let's see how it looks like all right so uh, it feels a little bit more natural here uh, this is a little bit too blue this is a little bit more uh desaturated which is good um you can also you know go back to the ambient light and play around with these colors it's going to give you a lot of cool uh, results so 
Uh, let me just go with a little bit more red here and adjust the uh, saturation a little bit and see how it can make it different. So as you can see with this um, adjustment that I just did, um, it kind of give this whole ambient colors a little bit more kind of like a pink, purple tint uh, compared to this. So I think uh, we can go with this, uh, the, the color feel a little bit more natural now. Alright, so the other thing that you can do is to play around with this time, uh, this sky and sun uh, setting. There's a lot of setting here, but uh, let me just try with this um, sun intensity uh, to see how it's affect the scene. Uh, so let's bring it up to 140 and see how it looks like. Okay, so this look pretty cool. Uh, if you compare it to previous renders, it kind of give a uh, some, some kind of extra light uh, on this um, this surface uh, top surface here to make it maybe pop out a little bit more. Um, so I think this is basically it. You can totally just play around with all of these four lights. Next thing that I want to talk about is to uh, just just want to share one trick to make the um, the depth of field. Um, that you see on my uh, final result. Uh, so normally that people would do it in 3D using the physical renderer and the camera with uh, some kind of different setting but it also comes with the consequence that it's gonna increase the render time. For this case I use this simple trick uh, with After Effects so let me just open After Effects and show you real quick. Uh, so here we are in After Effects, uh, so I imported this uh, PNG sequence here, so you can see the animation with um, the cars moving around. So in order to make the depth of field effect, all you have to do is to create a adjustment layer and give this a uh, effect, uh, blurry effect, so let's go, go with uh, Gaussian Blur. Gaussian blur and increase the blurriness uh, any way you want. Maybe let's go with like um, uh, maybe 26. All right, and then you can select a uh, ellipse tool and drag. And remember just to select the, the layer and drag a um, eclipse um, shape here. So as you can see, it kind of masks out this. Uh, the blur effect but we want it to be on in the opposite uh, way so let's just uh, click here invert it and you can see that is um, revert the whole thing uh, what we need to do is just go uh, drop this max down and then we have this uh, feather setting here so just increase the feathers uh, maybe like this um, maybe this is too much blur, uh, so let's just reduce it to 18, um, or you can just drag around to see what looks more realistic. So, and that's it. You can also adjust the mass uh, the way that you want, you know, uh, make it a little bit more um, realistic by just add more detail to it. But basically, that's how you can fake a depth of field. I think it's look uh, pretty cool for this case so and it save you a lot of time for not using the the depth of field effect render from from cinema 40 uh, and it worked perfectly here uh, so yeah that's this that's how you can make a super super ugly um, render like this to something like this with just a few lighting setup trick uh, and that's it for today and hope you like the video and I will see you in the next one. Alright.